In this video, I'm going to give you an absolute money passing concept from the Gun Bunch in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. Um, and work, so we're going to be talking today about the Gun Bunch, Short Side Bunch, and um, why Short Side Bunch is so, so good. Now, um, if you want to get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description below uh, where you can sign up and join uh, my Patreon membership. My Patreon membership will get you access to literally everything, um, get you access to my Bunch ebook, get you access to literally all of my other guides as well. And today we're going to be talking with you about a concept out of the play Smash Return and why Smash Return is such a good play. So uh, let's just jump on the field here. Like I said, if you want to check out the ebook, it's in the description. But why short side is so good, I think primarily is because verticals. And, if, and I'll show that real quickly. Uh, we already talked about it a little bit today, but I just want to show it to you one more time. So what you'll see here is that this 30-yard cloud or 25-yard cloud, it's not going to matter. Um, it doesn't really stop this. As you can see, the verticals crosser gets way over the top of the, you know, of that of that deep zone. Okay, so what we can do um, is kind of build around that. Okay, so there's two things that I want to show you. The first thing um, that I want to show you today is the flip trick or the flip glitch. Um, whenever you flip your bunch, it makes it really hard for the defense to adjust, especially if you wait like couple seconds maybe do a couple hot routes and then flip and so this play right here is really good because we're going to put the circle receiver on a crossing route just like this and then what i like to do is take the slot and i can put him on a streak and then from there i can um you know block my tight end and you know do whatever i want with my running back right i like to wheel him but whatever I want. Then what I can do is I can flip the play, and before the defense can get set up, I'm literally already in my play. So I'm just spamming the hike button, trying to hike the ball as fast as possible, and they get misaligned. Now notice that this deep crosser to the circle receiver is going to run um, you know, pretty far over the top of the coverage, right? Now, another little trick with this is you can, and this is yet another reason why I like short side bunch, if I were to come out in wide side and do the same exact setup, so literally we're just going to cross her the outside slot, we're going to streak the inside slot, we're going to block our tight end, I like to wheel the running back, and then from there, we're just going to flip our play, right? Flipping into short side, which is fine, you can do either one. What you'll notice is this crosser is a little bit better and you get this nice rollout. Notice where the crosser gets to on the field. He's going to get to just above uh, where a 30 yard cloud is going to get. He gets a little bit deeper if you do it on this side. And again, you notice that this is a very fast setup and that's one of the things I really like about this. They just can't get their defense set. They really can't. Um, and you'll see again, pass lead it right there. You see it'll keep running over the top of the zone. Now, I'm going to illustrate this. I'm going to go ahead and pre-set up my defense. So let's say they make all the adjustments that they want to make in their coverage. They're completely set. They're ready to go. Um, you know, they have their defense the way that they want it. And you go ahead and you cross her, Scotty Miller. You go ahead and do all your adjustments. And then you just flip, right? Now, what you could also do is double team this D end here. Get you a little bit more time to roll out. But your first read is always your wheel. No. Now we're going back and now you see we have this high low and notice that the 30 yard cloud doesn't stay with that defender so it gets wide open against zone drops so this is a great play now it's also really good in a situation like this where they go ahead and they run some man-to-man -man on you so if they want to run some man-to-man -man on you you could take this guy and put him on a flat but we know that wheels beat man anyway so you'll see here that you have that, but you also have this little return route. Wow, I got absolutely screamed at. You have this little return route to um, your guy over the middle. So I'm gonna show that again. Let me try to get a little bit better coverage here. Just throw a vert hook here. Um, and only send three so that I don't get instant shedded. But again, crosser, you're gonna wheel the running back, block your tight end, streak the slot. Real simple setup, but it's so good. And you could motion this little dig return route out but just notice it doesn't really matter. Like it's going to get open against man to man. I'll show you the motion out version of it uh, real quick as well. And again, this is just, you know, two cut, two purples in man coverage. Um, and then, you know, obviously the user in the middle of the field. You know, that's a basic, very basic coverage that you're seeing a lot right now. 
because man coverage is certainly the in my opinion the best way to play defense just the way the game is right now but what you see is if you motion this guy get him off a jam um, it just gets him wide open against man so you see he cooks man over the middle and what it is it, and this is one of the real keys with this is you know again would you run this against zone you could run this against zone it's honestly not bad um, against zone I'll show you something that you can do if you want to run this against zone that I think makes it a little bit better so if you want to run this against zone what you can do is you can take your running back and run him on an in route so you see it's basically like going to create kind of a mesh the running back will take the zones out of the way so you could hit the running back there but watch how open this guy is look at how deeply open that is and that's an easy you know automatic five to 15 yards so what they're going to have to do defensively um what they're gonna have to do defensively is they're gonna have to come down and play this with their with their user defender okay so what that would look like is basically this so we've crossed with this guy flipped it and then you've done your your adjustments you don't have to put the running back on an in you can again wheel him or put him on an in you could put him on an out you can honestly do whatever you want with the running back um if you want to block the running back i wouldn't recommend it because you don't get great pass protection from bunch when you block a running back so that's just something to note but anyways if they come down on this then their cro your crosser is absolutely wide open um over the top and i'll show that again i got randomly shedded classic madden 22 um i think the shed d is literally the best way to play defense which we talk about in our defensive stuff but anyways here's your setup motion this guy out so they stay down right let's say that they stay down on that route just pass lead this to the left and look at how good of separation that gets against man this year's game is really interesting. Um, in this year's game, it used to be that to get separation against man, generally what you wanted to do is you wanted to motion snap like a slant or motion snap a crosser. In this year's game, because of the way that the movement is on the players, it's really not that difficult. Um, it's, it's really not that difficult to get separation against man to man because... Um, you know because of the fact that the locomotion of the players is actually i think even better if you don't if you get them like while they're not in motion unless they really don't need to be jammed but you see how good of separation that's scotty miller against jair alexander and he's cooking him every single time so imagine if you have someone out there that has decent route running it's going to make this play even better now let's say you're watching this and you're like you know what cody it's a great video the problem is i don't have that ability i can't put a crossing route on the field that's completely fine. All you're going to do in that situation is just leave the dig that he's on and then still streak Godwin and then um, take your running back and still put him on a wheel. So you can do all those things. We're just going to leave this tight end route out there. And what you'll notice is this tight end out route is a really, really good play for zone. So if there are any zone coverage, the tight end is going to be open pretty much every single time. And then if they're any kind of um, if they're in any kind of man coverage, you still have basically your high low between your dig. Um, you obviously have your wheel, of course, and then this motion route. The tight end route will sometimes get separation against man, sometimes not. But notice that you see there they just can't use both of those players. And that is how we're going to use this money play. So that's Smash Return, one of the best plays in Madden. Very abbreviated version of how to set it up, but very, very good concept. Um, absolutely love this play for any kind of situation that you're going to find yourself in on the offensive side of the ball. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the rest of my bunch ebook, there's a link in the description that will allow you to join our Patreon membership. By becoming a Patreon member, you'll get access to all of my ebooks, all of my tips, all of my updates that we do just for our members. Um, it's just exclusive content just provided for them. We've got over 22 offensive and defensive guides. In addition to that, we've got um, over 88 updates in that in that uh, membership where we break down again different tactics, different as the meta shifts, we break down some of the things. So how to stop escape artists, for example, how to how to stop uh, wheel routes, how to stop you know the flat routes, just different things like that. So uh, we kind of go more concept based with those videos, and then of course we have the game plans or the full ebooks if you want to check that out as well. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon? There's a link in the description below. So just head on down to the description and click the link if you want to check it out.